Hey, Watch Watcher Brooks with the Revelation Christian. I'm here to help you understand the book of Revelation and end time Bible prophecy as it relates to prophecy that's happening in your lifetime right before your eyes. Now, if you watched my previous episode, you've seen how I talked about how Queen Elizabeth's death triggers Bible prophecy as it relates to the 10 King prophecy in the book of Revelation. In fact, I've been saying this for close to 10 years now. So you can see my previous videos where I talked about this. So watch my previous episodes, watch my previous videos, and you'll see I've been saying this faithfully per the teaching of the Holy Spirit. I didn't hear God talk to me in my ear. I don't hear no audible voice. I'm reading the scriptures. I'm seeing what's happening right before our eyes. And I'm discerning what the scripture says based on what the Holy Spirit is showing us all based on what the scripture has been given has what the based on what scripture gives us all and i said watch for a new king in uk and denmark as it will lead to the prophecy of the 10 kings in the book of revelation and in the book of daniel and that happened last week on september 8th when queen elizabeth passed away now we need to watch for another king in the U in denmark so when the queen of denmark is replaced by king we will see the 10th king of the 10 king prophecy in the book of revelation but look folks this isn't the first time that i've said something to watch for and it happened this happened before but let's take a look at what we let's take a recap real quick and then we're going to bring you into speed as to what i said again that has happened and that was that was fulfilled based on the teaching of the holy spirit let's take a look at this so here we're going to look at god's prophecy teaching proven right again so now as you can see in 2013 i said watch for a new king in denmark and in uk as it relates to queen elizabeth being replaced by king queen margaret being replaced by king and i said this again in 2014 same thing, watch for the new king in UK and Denmark because previous monarchs abdicated in Europe. So God was already pointing in Europe to watch for these new kings as it relates to the new kings to replace the last queens. Queen Margaret and Queen Elizabeth of UK and Denmark. Said it in 2014, said it again in 2015, said it again in 2016, said it again in 2017, said it again in 2017 again, <laughs> another video in 2019, and on and on and on and on and on. And in 2021, I said, hey, they released plans about her death. We need to watch this as it relates to King Charles replacing Queen Elizabeth. So I said, watch it again. Now, as the, how does this tie to the book of Revelation? This is what I wanna to explain to you all so you can really see how this ties to the book of Revelation. Now, when you go to Revelation chapter 17, it's in Daniel 7, you see this picture of this the woman sitting on a beast with seven heads and 10 horns. Now, she it has a golden cup in her hand for a little blood of, the blood of martyrs. She's also covered in red and in purple and adored in gold and precious stones and pearls. But more importantly, look at the beast that has 10 horns because it also correlates to Daniel prophecy that also has 10 toes. So we see that Daniel 2 prophecy has at the end time of a, a statue with feet with 10 toes that correlates to the 10 horns. And then we see again in Revelation 17, it talks about 10 kings. So we find that what we see here that when it talks about Daniel 2, as it relates to the 10 toes, we also see that it's talking about the 10 kings. So it's consistent. There's continuity with prophecy. God isn't being inconsistent because he's talking about the same thing, either from a different vantage point or he's talking about its nature or its characteristic, but it's still talking about the same thing. Now, when we look at the statue in Daniel 2, we find that the statue that King Nebuchadnezzar had of the prophecy of the kingdoms of men, where Jesus would return at the era of the feet, the gold represented Babylon, the uh, chest of silver and arms represented Persia. We found the waist represented Greece, and we found that the Romans represented the iron. And when it split, it became the East and West Roman Empire, which later evolved into, the, which will later evolve into uh, what we have in the modern time today, what we call Europe and the Middle East. Now that right here, Europe, present day Europe, present day Middle East, is what we see today. So we see that Jesus, per the prophecy, is not going to return at the gold, not going to return at the silver or the bronze or the legs. He returns at the feet. Now, when Jesus returns at the feet, that is to say modern day Europe and the Middle East. So we see that what Daniel describes the feet as modern day Middle East or modern day, I mean, what Daniel's described as the clay and the iron in the feet is actually modern day Europe and modern day Middle East. So if you're going to look at scripture and you want to correlate to, well, how do we know the 10 kings are actually in Europe? Well, look. There's no king monarchs in Canada, no monarchs in the US, no monarchs in Central America, no monarchs in, in South America, no monarchs in uh, Australia. There's five in Asia, seven in the Middle East, three in Africa, and lo and behold, 10 in Europe. So again, we correlating what scripture has been consistently telling us about 10 kings, we find it in Revelation 17 and Daniel 2 10 toes correlates to the 10 monarchs in Europe. So now if you're watching this, as I said, to watch this per the teaching of the Holy Spirit, what he's showing and teaching us all, if you're watching, 
You'll see that when the king of Thailand passed away, it made Queen Elizabeth and Queen Margaret the longest reigning monarchs in history. So now God made it so that when they were passed away, it would be such an epic historic event because this has never happened before to where we have the longest reigning monarchs ever who are the last two queens of the 10 royal families to be replaced by the prophesied, prophesied 10 kings. So God is putting a big highlight on this. As I said, since 2013, we need to watch for this. We find that this is what God is pointing us to. So when Queen Elizabeth passed away last week, this made King Charles the ninth king of the 10 king prophecy. Now, that is something I've been saying for close to 10 years that has now come to pass. But this isn't the only time what I said to watch for has come to pass. Look at this right here. And again, what I said to watch for happened again. This is what I posted a video talking about. You can identify the Antichrist before he's revealed. And in it, I talked about we need to watch for Prince Hassan bin Talab Jordan, the one who will become the Antichrist. Folks, before you pound me with the comments saying, you won't know till he's real, you won't know till he's revealed. Let me explain. There's two people in human history who Satan himself possessed. Satan possessed the future Antichrist and Satan already possessed Judas. These two individuals are the only ones in human history who's been possessed by Satan himself. And the Bible calls these two individuals son of perdition, son of perdition. So when these two titles are given to these individuals, it impl implicates that these are the ones who Satan himself possessed. Now, Judas being the first son of perdition was known amongst the disciples before he became the first son of perdition. The disciples knew him. The disciples heard him. The disciples saw him. People saw him. He was a public figure. He walked with Jesus. He, people heard him. People talked to him. He was supposed to be the one that cared about the poor, but he really was greedy. So we find that in the scriptures, that Jesus taught us and showed us that the first son of perdition could be seen, heard, talked to, uh, uh, conversed with, and he was a public fixture. He was known. So the first son of perdition was known before Satan entered him and became a son of perdition. Likewise, the scriptures is teaching us we can see, talk, hear, and we can see, talk, hear, and observe, witness the public figure of the second son of perdition, the Antichrist, so that before he's revealed, we can know who he is too, just like Judas before he was revealed to be the second son, the first son of perdition. So yes, we can know who he is before he is publicly revealed as the son of perdition. Now let's pay attention to this. This is what I said to watch for in 2014. We need to watch for Pope Francis, the one who will become the false prophet, and watch for a prince from Jordan who wants to be king. What this means, folks, is just like what I said before. And that is the donkey that Jesus asked his disciples and commanded his disciples to go get the donkey's call. They knew about the prophecy. They were in the mix of getting it as the Lord had commanded. But they did not even see what was really going on until after it had been fulfilled. We're seeing Pope Francis right now. He is that white horse. He's about to go to Jordan where this conqueror is going to be, where he's going to come from. That's why he's not going to attack Edom, Moed, and Amman. It's because that's the country where he's from. Now, because of that, the only thing we're waiting for after this merger happens is for him to meet the Jordanian prince who wants to be king. That's what it's all about. You have to understand they have to meet the false prophet and antichrist they have to meet first before they go do what the bible says they're going to do so this is what i've been teaching and this is what i've been showing and what i've been saying watch for the pope and watch for the watch for pope francis to meet prince hassan bin talab jordan just like i said watch you need to in other words watch for the false prophet to meet the future antichrist because they have to meet first before they go do what the bible says they're going to do they're just not going to pop up out of nowhere and just start causing havoc they have to meet and then go do what the bible says they're going to do and i put that in a video in 2014 watch for them to meet first and then lo and behold this is what happened Pope Francis and Princess Son of Jordan met September 2014. Just as I said to watch for them to meet, per the teaching of the Holy Spirit, I said watch for them to, these two to meet, and they met. Watch for Princess Son Ben Talal of Jordan, and watch for Pope Francis to meet. As in other words, watch for the false prophet and watch for the Antichrist. Watch for these two folks who will be what the Bible said they will become. 
Watch for them to meet first, and then they're going to do what the Bible says they're going to do. And just as the Holy Spirit taught us, if you're watching based on the scriptures that he's given us all, I posted this and it happened. So now this is the second time based on what scripture has said, based on what we see, that what I said to watch for came to pass. So this gives proof again that based on what the Lord is showing and teaches us, teaching us all, we can find that yes, Prince Hassan ben Talal, the one who will become the future Antichrist and the one who will become the future false prophet, Pope Francis, these two are the ones that needed to meet first before they go do what the Bible says they're going to do. And they met just several months later after I posted the video to say and watch for them. So this again tells us this is who we need to watch for. These are the main characters of the end times of the, all the events that we need to watch for. It will center around these two. Pope Francis, the one who become the false prophet and Prince Hassan bin Talab Jordan, the one who become the Antichrist. And I hope now you see how what I said to watch for again came to pass per the teaching of the Holy Spirit based on what the scriptures says, what the, the scripture he's given us all and what events he's showing us all in the world today and i hope this edified you i hope this brings clarity to you i hope you're seeing things differently now because there's so much that's happening and i need to get this out quickly to those the lord wants to know and those who want to learn and seek the lord so i really hope that you like this give me a thumbs up give me a comment i'd love to know your thoughts and definitely follow me if you want more uh, information on this topic thank you so much don't lose hope folks because remember jesus is coming